What's up guys, JV2017 here, and I am extremely excited to share the new Nuclear World trailer that Bethesda just released this morning, as well as the release date for the DLC, which is officially August 30th. In this video, I'm going to be pausing and breaking down this trailer to look for as many details as possible so that we can know what to expect in Nuka World. I've left a link to the unedited trailer in the description below, and I highly encourage that you all go and watch that first if you haven't already before continuing with this video. If you see anything that I may have missed in the trailer, please feel free to share in the comments below for everyone else. Let's go ahead and start from the beginning. One of the first things we see is the Nuka Cola themed protector on here talking about park safety. And we're going to see a lot of Nuka Cola themed robots throughout the park, including a Mr. Handy, which is pretty cool. We also have Bottle and Cappy, which are the mascots for Nuka World. Very Disney looking, old school Mickey Mouse kind of style here, which I really dig. And it's a clear inspiration from the Disney theme parks. Pausing right here, we get a really cool look of the park from a distance, some castles that are inside the park. And this is not the whole park, this is just one of the zones inside of the park that we're about to talk about. So, as we already sort of knew, there will be locations outside of the main park area like we're looking at now. But the park is massive, this is just a small piece of it. Next we see this creepy mascot drinking Nuka Cola, and a part of the park, I think this is near the mountain with the giant bottle next to it, but I want to pause here to take a great look at Dry Rock Gulch. This is one of the park zones, and we know it is from the platform on the right, it matches the symbol for the location that was data mined. Of course we also know because the trailer tells us towards the end, and so we're going to obviously pause and look at that more closely, but we can tell tons of giant fake rocks, they definitely look fake to me, and kind of a western vibe, this giant roller coaster has fallen down, maybe we can repair it, I think that would be kind of cool but we also see some arcade games on the side there it's going to be a very cool area next we get a look at the river of quantum and what is possibly our first new creature it looks like a mirelurk that's kind of infused with quantum and i think we're going to see a few creatures in this trailer that look like they're affected by the quantum that they've been kind of swimming in which is kind of weird and creepy this new attraction is within the world of refreshments which is actually another kind of location another zone within the park that we didn't know about now it's been confirmed in this trailer also in kind of the press release for this trailer on bethesda.net once again i will link that in the description below but we'll see more of the world of refreshment in just a second pause really quickly once again because there's a lot of interesting things going on here first we have this giant nuka mountain i think that's what it's going to be called we're not exactly sure but we got the giant bottle next to the giant mountain this is our first look at a raider and it's pretty safe to say that he belongs to the disciples because you can tell from the banner on the right of the raider from the data mine leaks we have a symbol for the disciples that looks exactly like that so i think it's pretty safe to assume that the raider and this area belong to the disciples raider gang this raider is also holding a new weapon that appears to be an ak assault rifle variant which which I know will excite a lot of people. It could be the new Chinese assault rifle for this game. I'm no gun expert, so I'll leave the classification of that to you all in the comments below. But regardless, this is a new weapon, and I know a lot of people have been wanting a better automatic weapon in the game. Next, we have a bunch of arcade games, and I'm going to play these in slow motion a few times. We've got the Hoop Shot basketball game, Whack-A-Mole, which I would probably call Whack-A-Cola you know, something like that. We have Atomic Roller Ski Ball, and of course, a shooting range at the end. I'm not sure if that's a new weapon. You guys tell me if you've seen that in the game before. It kind of looks like a revolver looking thing. The handle at least looks like that to me, but I'll do some more research and come back with another video to confirm that for you guys. But overall, I'm pretty excited to play some of these new mini games that are going to be scattered across the park. Here we get a really cool look at the brand new Nuka Cola Power Armor paint job that we'll be able to acquire in this DLC. It just looks so cool, and I can't wait to rock this around Nuka World. Next, we're looking at Nuka Galaxy, which seems to be part of the Galactic Zone, probably a roller coaster ride inside of there. And as you can tell, we can actually ride the ride in there. And so I really hope we can go around and repair some of the rides that are around the park that are broken down, because there are plenty that are broken down, obviously, since it's been so long. It's been hundreds of years. Another quick pause here, because we are on the monorail that's going to be in the game. This was leaked again in a data mine. There is a map marker that looks exactly like a monorail. So more than likely, that's what this is. And also, I have a little theory. This monorail is going to get us around Nuka World. We know that probably around the extended map area in the new region, but also on the Twitter when Fallout announced this on Fallout's Twitter with the trailer, they have the wording hop on the Nuka Express for a trip to Nuka World. Now, I don't know if I'm reading into this, but maybe we're actually going to hop on a monorail that appears on one side of the map, and that's going to take us to Nuka World. I think it's an interesting theory, maybe an idea that makes sense. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. 
Next, we see a broken down roller coaster, a Protectron giant bottle, and of course, Kitty Kingdom. This is kind of the explanation for each different part. And so we're starting with Kitty Kingdom. The song sings, Kitty Kingdom's lots of fun for tykes like you and me, as we know it's for kids. And so, unfortunately, it's infested with ghouls, as you can tell. But we can also tell that Kitty Kingdom has a giant Ferris wheel. It has a castle that we saw in the distance earlier in this trailer, a fun house full of ghouls, some blue and purple ghouls, which I think maybe they're again infused with quantum, but the purple doesn't exactly makes sense maybe that's cotton candy something like that we really don't know but each zone has a theme and something wrong with it this zone has a ton of ghouls in it so we'll have to deal with that problem the next zone is safari adventure and the little song sings safari adventures full of animals to see so obviously we can tell this is all about new different creatures and animals the first shot gives us a really great look at the area we see a structure with a flag sticking out this could be the base of operations for the pack raider gang whose symbol looks like a wolf and almost if you kind of in enhanced looking at that flag it does kind of look like the wolf symbol we also see a treehouse in the distance which looks great along with a broken roller coaster that once again i hope we can repair next we have this tribal guy wearing only a loincloth bracers and boots carrying a stick and at first i thought this guy could be part of the pack but maybe not considering what's later in the trailer it shows off the pack and they don't look anything like this so really not sure exactly what this guy is we also have that giant cage in the background probably holding something terrifying in fact it's probably something like this i don't know what to call this it's definitely a new creature probably a lizardy death claw it looks like a crocodile mated with a death claw that's pretty much what i'm sticking with i'm not sure what this is going to be called probably a croc death claw or a croc claw something like that Pausing immediately again, we have what looks to be a new creature, some kind of bull brahmin. That's what I'm sticking with because those horns look like bull horns, but it is a brahmin. So it's a new type of brahmin. Looks really aggressive, you know, more of an enemy instead of just something that kind of roams around. We also have a new mod on a baseball bat. It just looks like a rocket baseball bat, something we could do on a sledgehammer before, but not a baseball bat. Next, we have the Galactic Zone, and the song goes blast off to Galactic Zone for otherworldly thrills. So I'm not going to be pausing anywhere in this portion because there's nothing super specific we just have the giant spire in the middle that's how we're going to be able to identify this portion and it's probably the epcot of the park kind of the sciencey place obviously it's a galactic zone if you're familiar with disney parks you know what i'm talking about we get a glimpse at a nuka cola mr handy which is pretty cool with a different kind of weapon i'd really love if they gave us these nuka variants on the automatron robot building stuff i think that would be really cool but i don't know if we're going to get that or not we also have this giant blue explosion from a protectron weapon doesn't look like anything we've seen before so that'll be interesting too we see See more of the galactic zone later in the trailer so don't worry if that wasn't enough next is dry rock gulch and i'm from texas and i can't tell you exactly what's being said in the second half of this little song it's down in dry rock gulch there's something something i can't understand it if you guys can if you can decipher this share in the comments section below so the general gist here is it's old west you've got a giant roller coaster that's broken down that we saw earlier giant rock structures an old western town setup you've got a saloon a general store a barber and a dentist that looks like we have some western outfits that we can put on which will be really nice to find and kind of collect you know around the park we also have this new burrowing creature i have no idea what it's going to be called but it looks super scary and a new weapon it looks like it's from the galactic zone in my opinion it's some kind of pistol fueled by this green fuel and we don't know what this is or what it even looks like when you shoot it i don't think it's in any other parts of the trailer you guys can correct me if i'm wrong but i'm really excited to see what this new weapon is next is the world of refreshments which we now know is dedicated by the bottle icon that was leaked in the data mine and the little song for this one is the world of refreshments is the most wonderful place or just the most wonderful place it's also home to the river of quantum as we saw earlier in the trailer next we see some raiders in an inside area and my guess is that they're disciples just from their look and what we've seen earlier in the trailer they kind of fit that vibe i'm not exactly sure that is just speculation next we see these two raiders that aren't wearing any masks or anything so that totally makes me think that they are story related and also we know confirm that these are operators because you can see the banners on the right side of the screen next to the microphone that's kind of the shot icon with the heart in the middle as we know from the data mine link the map marker for operators looks exactly like that so these are operators and i believe they're story related because we can see their faces one of them could even be gauge we don't know it could be the guy or the girl not really sure this next shot is interesting to me because we have some more hooded figures with masks again these could be disciples could even be the pack i'm not really sure but it's most interesting because we have this slave with a collar so there are going to be slaves with collars this really brings me back to paradise falls from fallout 3 and kind of rescuing those slaves or you know making sure they
they die if you went either way with that quest. So interesting, we're gonna have slaves with collars again. Another quick pause shows us the signs. This is, I think, the dead center of the park, if I had to guess. We also see Nuka Town, USA, which could be another subsection of the area, kind of the central hub area. And then we're gonna pause once again. There's a lot of interesting things here. First off, Nuka Kate in the top left, that was a workshop keyword that was revealed in the recent leaks. And also, just to the right of Bottle and Cappy waving at us, we can see a tiny banner for the operators. And also, next to that, another banner on top of what looks to say the parlor that's just my guess this is literally the furthest right that we can see but that kind of looks like an l it could be maybe not but i'm thinking that's the parlor and that's where the operators are and that's where they were in that other shot earlier with those two story looking characters quickly we see a scoped semi-auto ak and i'm sure everyone expected that we're going to be able to customize that thing make it automatic make it semi-auto give it a scope everything like that and then we have our only look at workshop in the entire trailer and bethesda hid all other options they just placed this with having the structure tab open so that was really kind of weird to me I think they kind of hit everything else this is literally the only second that we see workshop in the entire trailer next we have a quick montage of stuff being built on a red rocket some workshop items but the most interesting thing to me is the highway in the background there's a few places in the Commonwealth where the highways look like that and it mostly reminds me of the mass pike interchange location in the regular game and if Nuka world is close to that location then it could be off the west side of the map so I'm gonna do some more research and share what I find in another video try to find some similar looking locations to that frame right there and I will report back to you guys next is easily the most ridiculous weapon the electrified paddle ball and it looks like we have the paddle ball as a base melee weapon and we have the electrified ball mod in the bottom right which is uh really interesting I don't think it's going to be super effective fortunately we get to see this paddle ball in action it looks like it barely knocks back that operator and once again that is an operator he's wearing a suit so we know exactly what that raider faction looks like the thing that immediately pops out to me is the colored AK, absolutely crazy colors for this skin. And of course, it's the first time we've seen the AK in our player's hand, which is really cool. But we're about to see that this is the pack Raider game that we're running with. This could be the pack skin for the AK. But the most important thing is we're in the Commonwealth. We're in Sanctuary Hills with this Raider gang. And so this very much confirms that we will be able to take Raider gangs back to the Commonwealth and take over settlements. We actually do get to see more of the workshop in the new Raider category, some of the things that were leaked in the keywords first off flags we have the raider signal flag for the pack so we know once again that's the pack and then next to that looks to be a raider signal beacon to attract more raiders the next one that next to that looks like the dealer vendor to deal chems and whatnot for raiders and then another banner that kind of looks like the operators i'm not sure why that is we're gonna pause once again here to get a real good look at the pack in sanctuary hills because they look nothing like any of the raiders we've seen earlier in the trailer that's why i was kind of saying and eh, maybe this is the pack maybe not i don't think it is i think more of the standard looking raiders were the disciples then the crazy looking ones right here that don't have suits on are going to be the pack we just have horns beaks you know masks green hair colorful outfits kind of reminds me of the joker's gang and what that would look like also since these are horns and beaks it does make sense that the pack is hanging out in safari adventure so i'm pretty sure that flag we saw earlier is for the pack in safari adventure another quick pause we see some aliens here but i don't believe these are real they just look too robotic and they don't look like they're alive so they look like they're fake aliens shooting blasters maybe this means we'll find another alien blaster and more ammunition in this DLC I think that would be really nice and then we have an interesting set of power armor that's being electrified it looks like it's connected to something on the top either that or that's part of the power armor you know going upwards not really sure about that but in this same scene we have a giant crowd roaring at what's happening and so it sounds to me like this power armor suit is connected to the ceiling just like the bumper cars are and they're electrifying the power suit and it's some sort of arena because you can hear a crowd roaring in this same scene if you have the audio on in the trailer and so that's what it sounds like to me some kind of bumper car arena and I think that sounds really cool yet another quick pause we have a cool look at a really cool looking knife I'm not a knife guy I couldn't tell you what type of knife that is but it does look very awesome we also have a new creature jumping at us it looks like some sort of mosquito ant grasshopper spider creature I don't know what it is clearly it's mutated and way too large than it should be quick pause to look at this mysterious guy he looks like some kind of glowing skeleton ghoul that disappears he throws a flash bomb down looks like he's in dry rock gulch but I can't wait to see who or what this guy is 
Next, we see some flying ants that are coming out of giant mounds, so that appears to be really fun. Probably don't want to be punching them like the Soul Survivor is doing right now. We get another look at a few new rides. First off, one that goes straight up and straight down. If you've been to amusement park, you know what I'm talking about. And then kind of a train cart ride that's kind of gone rogue. It's off the tracks, taking out some of those ghouls. Some of them are blue, once again, infused by Nuka Quantum. That's kind of my theory there. And finally, to wrap up the trailer, we have the same kind of shot we got from the E3 trailer when Nuka World was first revealed. On the right, it looks like what could be a few disciple-looking raiders. I just say that because of the hoods and kind of what I've speculated early in the trailer. On the left, it looks like some pretty standard raiders. Not really sure what they're about. They don't look like they belong to a specific gang that we've seen in this trailer. And also, in the middle, it almost looks like Travis is walking into Nuka World. I don't know who that's going to be. It could be Gage, but that's a complete guess really out of nowhere. So, of the video, I just wanted to take a final pause here to show off kind of the layout of the entire Nuka World since we have new information. First off, on the left, we see the giant spire. That's clear galactic zone next to that to the right is dry rock gulch we can see the broken down roller coaster and the giant rocks next to that is the giant hub area the nuka mountain not sure exactly what that's going to be called to the right of that in the distance is kitty kingdom you can see the ferris wheel and some of those buildings over there and safari adventure isn't on screen it's actually behind the mountain we can tell that because of some of the shots of safari adventure you can see the mountain in the background so clearly we know that safari adventure is in the back of the park so anyways, guys, that was the Nuka World trailer with a ton of starting and stopping. I hope you found something new kind of information in this video. I'd like to hear from you all in the comment section below. What gets you most excited about this trailer? And also, what else did you see that I might have missed? This was a long video, but I still probably missed a few things. Share all that in the comment section below. All right, guys, today I shared my breakdown analysis of the brand new Nuka World DLC trailer. Next time, we will cover more Fallout on my channel, so stay tuned for Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos. If you learned something new or enjoyed this video, remember to hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe for more Nuka World coverage. I'm going to be going more in-depth with a lot of things in this trailer. This was a long breakdown analysis, but I think I can do some more research for you guys. So expect that on the channel soon, along with Bethesda.net mods and general tips and tricks videos. Talk to you guys next time. Peace!